So we're gonna get to see a preview of a new Ducati coming that I am also gonna be ordering, but I'm not allowed to film it. So maybe I can't even talk about it. So, sorry. You guys will see it soon, I, I hope. All right, what is up guys? Jerry Campisi with the beautiful Christy McKay. Welcome back to the channel. We were still in Italy for World Ducati Week. And uh, I figured I would take you along for the day, do it more like vlog style. We're also gonna see a lot of motorcycles, so don't worry. But um, yeah, sit back and relax. So this is a uh, breakfast hall of our, um, what is this? I Sweet Hotel. I Sweet Hotel, yeah. Apparently this is like a big influencer place because it's like very pit picturesque. But um, starting with right some food. So we've got some fruit for Christina. Fresh squeezed orange juice with yeah, the pulp and everything. It's incredible. actually orange juice, like made from orange juice. Incredible. Can you imagine that? Too many waffles with honey and And look at the sizes. This is how the sizes are. Usually it's one, one serving. I got two. Yeah. And then I got fruit, uh, yeah, peaches and almonds with low fat yogurt. That's crazy. It's actually real stuff. And then I did eggs and bacon. Everything is small portion yeah. so that you can have, you can try a bunch of stuff yeah. on the menu, which is great because it's like buffet style. I want this, I want that. Yep. So it's great. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do some uh, breakfast. And then we're gonna go over. Today's gonna be the race of champions. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys probably $200 million worth of Ducatis at the event. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of do it long style and enjoy ourselves. So I, yeah, I rode all around Italy yesterday. I'm gonna be riding to the event. My GoPro is dead. I didn't really have a chance to film it. So um, yeah, I, I still can't believe, if you didn't see the other video of me doing the parade lap and riding through the town, there was literally thousands of people lining the streets to see the Ducatis come by. And everybody asked me to rev and it was, it, like, <laughs> There's probably 10,000 bikes, I would say, or more. And like everybody was revving. It was like a bunch of campeses just riding around revving their bikes. Yes. It was incredible. The tourists over there had no idea what was happening. Yeah. So they were getting like upset. Like, yeah. Why is everyone revving? Some of them were. Yeah, but, but everyone them, was into it. Yeah, a lot of them were like, yeah, I revved the bikes. Like little kids were coming over and like revving people's bikes on the street and we'd stop at stoplights. Like it was incredible. This helmet yesterday during that uh, parade ride. It was probably 95 degrees on the track with a bunch of Ducatis revving their engines. This was soaked, completely and utterly soaked. And I have all kinds of electronics in here. So I had my, my GoPro here. I've got uh, a mic here. I've got a mic here on this side. So uh, hopefully everything still works. We're in a little town in Italy called Rimini. And this is our hotel. It's called the I Suite Hotel. So it's uh, apparently like an influencer hotel, as I was mentioning earlier. Look at this. They got water here. So if you uh, get drunk and step off the sidewalk, you fall in water. That's interesting. This but is yeah. like the boardwalk. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. all hotels, and then there's a bunch of cool restaurants. And then on the other side, there's like cute little boutiques and yeah. stuff you can buy. It's dope. And then the beach. Yeah. With like thousands of cabanas. Yeah. An umbrella. Which kind of reminds me of um, Ukraine. Ukraine. Look at yeah. these guys. Look at these. Oh, yeah. see? That's what I need. So you need short shorts. That's what Jer Bear needs. Or a little like. Underwear. What are those called? Uh, speedos. Speedos. And they were the ones that were just playing volleyball, but with a soccer ball and your legs. So like soccer uh, with a net. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's them. Oh, okay. Those yeah. are the guys. Okay, it's sweet. Interesting. All right. We're down here. It's time. <laughs> it's time. Look at Tyson. <laughs> He's supposed to ride on the track today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh God. We'll 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 show some of that. But here's the Xiava we got for the trip. Um, I love when I pulled in. <laughs> Dude, you should see the parking situation in here. I don't know how everybody parks in here. It's crazy. But when I pulled in, hey, when we were sitting, yeah, exactly. When, when we were sitting right here, I was looking in here and I was like, that's exactly where I'm gonna park. And I drove in and the guy was like, you park out here. I was like, yeah. We got the Exiavo, baby. So I'm gonna try not to die on the way down. Look how, no, dust, look how dusty that. it is. Look how dusty it is. Oh, shit. From the ride yeah, yesterday? Yeah, last night. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we made it back to the track uh, for day two of World Ducati Week. Um, riding through the streets of Italy on a bike. In 95 degree weather when you don't know where you're going, it's a little tricky, but it was a lot of fun. I noticed people in Italy, and maybe it's just because there are so many Ducatis and bikes right now, nobody waves to each other on bikes. In America, everybody waves to each other. Here, it's like, oh, it's just another Ducati riding down the street. Um, right now, they've got V4 test rides going. <laughs> That's epic, dude. So, yeah, this is the, the track that I just did the parade lap on yesterday, Mizano World Circuit, and then they're doing... Uh, Panigale test rides today, and then they're gonna do the race of champions a little bit later, too. Here, let's hear the Panigales come by. Ha! 
<laughs> you can tell which ones have exhausts on them and which ones are stock. But yeah, that's freaking epic. I could have done this, but they didn't let me have a GoPro on my helmet, so I figured it was kind of pointless. But man, it looks like fun. So I wanted to show you guys a little overview of the event. So obviously we're here at the track, pits below us. And then look at all of the Ducatis around here. It's literally just a sea of Ducatis. We were talking about it yesterday and we think that if there's probably 10,000 or more Ducatis here, and if each one is roughly uh, $20,000, you're talking 200 million worth of Ducatis in one location. This has to be the largest gathering of Ducatis in the entire world, which is pretty freaking cool. How about it, man? Insane. <laughs> it's crazy. I can see you riding on the track. Yeah. I'd be putting. I'd be uh -huh. pub, 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 pub. Yeah. That's why I said I'd let everybody go by me and just go on my own feet. My turns I would take just like everybody. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> You'd like to lean your R3, remember on the streets? Yeah. yeah. That's different. All right, let's go show them some cool stuff. So here's another view of some of the bikes down on the ground level. It's it's absolutely incredible, dude. But check this out. Oh, that's a cool exhaust. Never seen that before on Diablo. We got a Lamborghini Diablo right here. This is number 000, so the prototype bike. This one won't be sold. And then if you didn't know, this bike was based off of the Lamborghini Sion. So that's what this car is right here. Lamborghini's first hybrid uh, hypercar, you, you should say. Uh, I believe it's over $2 million. Um, but you can see the wheels right here, same as the on the bike, the same color. This is Lamborghini Gia Green, which is this color right here. So that's a Lamborghini color, the matte green. And then the carbon fiber they did as well. And you can see how absolutely stunning this car is. Like, it looks insane. So this is their first, it has a V12, but it, it has a uh, super capacitor. So it is a hybrid Lamborghini, the first hybrid Lamborghini they've ever built. Um, the super capacitor is different than normal batteries because it can charge, it can release all of its power really quickly and it can charge back power really quickly. So uh, it's their take on doing um, a hybrid car. And of course in Lamborghini fashion, they do it absolutely crazy look at the tire thickness on that thing holy hell those are probably like 350s or some shit let's see yeah 355s on the width on those look at the damn dude but yeah it's a, a wild car these are limited so I believe they only made, I want to say 63 coupes and 63 convertibles, I think is what they did. Uh, of course, because Lamborghini was founded in 1963 and that's why they did um, 630 of the motorcycles and they did say, have the 63 on there as well. So pretty freaking cool to see them next to each other. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, Lamborghini Sion in the comments below. So I wanted to walk around and just show some bikes. And if you see your bike here, I want you to comment down in the comment section below. If you rode to World Ducati Week, let me know what bike you rode. And I was actually just chatting with um, a subscriber in there and he was saying there was like, what do you say, 20,000 bikes or something like that? Or 40,000? He said 40,000. Yeah, I don't know if that's, let's just say 20,000. So if there's 20,000 bikes with an average of 20,000 per bike, You're looking at like 400 million dollars worth of bikes. Look at this 996. See teens, I think we get something like this and park it uh, in our, right where our front door is. We have like, where we would put a piano, let's put a, an old school Ducati. I think that would be super cool. Uh, wow, I wonder, look at that blue. I wonder how far he came. Oh, I, I think I've seen this. I've seen this on Instagram. Yeah, no shit. Look at that. That is nice. And the clutch. Yeah, the clear clutch. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful bike. Yeah, I really like this. That is, that is Exposed cool. carbon on the back. Even the seat, look. Blue stitch. Carbon fiber, yeah, that's a beautiful Street Fighter right there. That's up. That's awesome. But yeah, I mean, dude, there, there's so many cool bikes here. It's just absolutely great. Here you go, teens. I can see you rocking that. Yes, I can. Add that to your collection yes. of stupid fucking <laughs> things that you have. Vehicles <laughs> at the house, Street Fighters, Hypers everywhere. A lot of Maltese and just uh, some Diavels. There's my pop's Diavel right there. Or no, that's a little bit older, I think, actually. Ooh, I like the V4 Corsa. Look at that. Panigale V4 Course. Beautiful bike. I almost bought one of these. I'll, I could probably say that about every bike here. <laughs> right? Yeah. But yeah, it's. If you it looks guys. Like your garage would be filled with one of everything. Yeah, it would be. 
But if you guys have a chance to come to World Ducati Week, you should absolutely come. If you can ride here, if you're in Europe, ride here. Oh, dude. That is epic. Wow. Look at that. 24 horses. It's a 250cc. It's dude. not horses, it's orders. Oh, orders? Okay, well, this probably means horsepower. Look at that. That is so cool. It's just a box. It's just so... That's cool, too. That's a, I think that's a Nikki Hayden. Um, yeah. What year is that? I'm not sure. Looks like a 1098, maybe, or something. Bless you. Yeah, dude, it's, it's just like... I could walk around here just looking at the bikes all day long. Not even like going into the exhibits, but yeah, freaking crazy. I guess the race of champions is going to be happening soon, so I think we might need to run over there and uh... Because they're going to give you uh, access to the pits. Oh, the yeah. All getting ready. Yeah, let's do that. Let's yeah. go over there. All right, so we get to do like a little pit lane walk and eventually we'll see some of the riders. Oh, is that a Superleggera in there? Yes, it is. See that? A couple Superleggeras. Yo, let me get one of those. <laughs> Yeah. I'll, I'll give you cash for one right now. Right? Um, but yeah, these are the, the new 2022 Panigales. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's get two of those, like your scanners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll take them. There's the Aruba Lenovo team, MotoGP rider right there. That's awesome. They're doing well this year. I think Ducati is um, winning the Constructors Championship right now. They have the most points. Um, I don't believe that they have a rider in the lead. I think they're. Uh, I want to say Peko's like second maybe or third right now in points, but um, they've got like, I want to say five out of the top 10 riders right now. So ton of points. Look at this, a little behind the scenes for you here. We've got a Superleggera, but here's what's special about these. Look at that, no number. So these are their, basically their press bikes. They usually have one or two of these. And what they'll do with these is send them all over the world for uh, riding and stuff like that, for press events. And then when they're done with them, they'll actually maybe put one in the factory and they destroy these bikes. Yeah, they literally destroy them. Yeah, oh, there's another one. I didn't even see that over there. But look at this. I've been trying to buy one of these. I didn't tell you guys for like six months now, but I can't find one uh, for sale. So if anyone's selling a Superleggera, let your boy know. Holler at your boy. So look, right next to the Superleggeras, they have the new uh, SP2s. So this is the, uh, I had the V4 SP uh, 2021. These are the 2022 SPs and they're the SP2s. So they have the new body shapes. Um, they're limited edition, the new tank uh, style. They actually have a new dash. Uh, well, not a new dash, but some new dash uh, stuff like that. Look at that. V4 SP2 riding these bad boys on the track. And then they even have some um, Bayless edition Panigale V2s. Look at that. Number 1423. And another one right here. This is uh, 1188. What a badass lineup of bikes right here. Damn. So, so yesterday when I was saying... already got a uh, mat for the house. This is what Tyson's got ordered. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be sick, dude. I'm paying cash. Yeah, we need to come down. When he gets his, yeah. we'll have to come down and we'll, we'll ride together in yeah, Miami. Yeah, for sure. That'll be we epic. Get off. You can ride my Street Fighter, yeah. I'll ride this, you ride this. Hell yeah. Down, ride yeah. yeah, maybe I'll ship my uh, Diablo down so you can finally ride a Diablo. Yeah, I know, yeah. So here's the uh, Lamborghini. Uh, we're gonna do this tomorrow. We're gonna go out in the Lamborghinis tomorrow. So, taxis, look at that. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, so they just took us upstairs to a super exclusive uh, room, and we're gonna go in here. And we're gonna see a new bike that's coming. That I'm gonna all. Oh, there's the ocean. No one cares about the ocean. It's Ducatis, Christina. It's Ducatis. So we're gonna get to see a preview of a new Ducati coming that I am also gonna be ordering, but I'm not allowed to film it. So maybe I can't even talk about it. So. Sorry, you guys will see it soon, I, I hope. All right, that bike is incredible. Hey, what do you guys think of that? Don't say what it is, but what do you think? It's a good bike, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Yeah, so I got one ordered, and I might be able to do something special with it as well. I was able to talk to the designer right there, and we might even make some changes. Um, dude, it, they, they crushed it. So I think we're actually gonna see something else special in here. This is the Ducati Unica program where you can actually design uh, a Ducati. Well, not design it, but you can take a model and kind of customize it. Yeah, all right, I gotta go in. Okay, 
So um, Tyson and I were in the, we're allowed to talk about the Unica program. Yeah, the Unica program. So they took us into another room and showed us the Unica program. And of course, after we just ordered a bunch of bikes. Right, after we just spent so much money. I, I kind of feel like a little bit disappointed that we weren't told about this. You they're know? just unveiling it now. Yeah. And he said but, they're doing like one bike per country per year. Yeah. So it's very rare. Yeah. But he said in the future we can, we can exactly. design a bike. So yeah, that's super that, cool. That, that Street Fighter we saw in there is coming to America to a uh, customer. Yeah. 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 And so, I think that Panigale yeah. might be too, but it might be going to someone here. He said Europe. Milan. Milan, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I've been asking them to do that program for many years, so I'm stoked to see it actually. And the bikes that the customers designed alongside the team, one was a pure black carbon Panigale V4. I wonder where they got that carbon idea. Carbon like you, yeah, yeah. right? And the carbon other like one? you've never seen before yeah. outside carbon. of his driveway. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then the other one was the Carlin Dunn uh, Street Fighter edition, Street Fighter basically. So that's, again, I built one of those bikes too. So it's yeah. super cool to see some inspiration hopefully coming from what I'm doing, which is really, really cool. Now the next thing we're gonna show you is new Moto E bike. So, we're allowed to show you this. Yeah, we're allowed to show you guys this. So they're, de they're developing this bike for the Moto E Championship Series. Mm -hmm. So right now it's just a race bike. Right. So obviously there's no lights or anything like that. And, but um, uh, Chaz Davies has yep. taken this out on the track just last week. Yeah. And he told me, uh, it performs amazing. Yeah, the torque, right? About it, the torque, the instant the torque, braking, everything. The downshifting was amazing. Yeah, even like the rotors look different. Mm -hmm. You know, those are some sort of Brembos. They look like Stylema calipers. But it's interesting. Sorry, they're doing qualifying for the race of champions right now. But they're still using radiators. Listen to those bikes, dude. Oh my gosh. So. Um, Double-sided swing arm because it's a racing bike. Marcus, Marcusini. Rims. Oh my god, that sounds so insane. But it's, once again, because this is a race bike, it's a little bit fatter. Listen to that. Those are V4 Panigales that they're racing right now. It sounds insane. Look at that. See that? I don't know if that's the gearbox or that might be part of the motor. I don't even know. But yeah, this is uh, this is the future of motorcycles, basically, because we're not going to be allowed to have loud bikes anymore that are burning gas. So let me know what you guys think. I think it looks really cool, um, and I'm sure it will be fun to ride, but I'm a sound guy, so I want that. I want that all day long. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new Moto E in the comment section below. So this is what you were hearing in the background. The Race of Champion riders practicing on the track. So if you don't know what the Race of Champions is, um, it's basically all the factory riders from Ducati and they're riding V4 Panigales and it's an exhibition race. So um, it's basically just for fun since we have a break in MotoGP in the season right now. So um, they're out here practicing and then they're all going to race against each other and uh, it's going to be epic. I got my money on Pecco or Jack Miller, that's what I think, but we're going to see. I don't know if they're doing pole position or if they're just putting the MotoGP riders in the front, but uh, there's Pecco right there, he just pulled in. There you go, the Lenovo team. And then actually they're going to auction these bikes off after the race. So if I can find the website of where they're going to do it, you could actually buy the bikes that they ride in this championship race online. So that's really freaking cool. So right now they're practicing. They're practicing the launch for the race. <laughs> I wonder if they're using actual launch control. Look at that. So we're down here on the uh, track. This is right before everything's getting started here, before the race of champions. We're just hanging out with some of the racers and chatting with them. And uh, look at this. Dude, this is epic. Look at this. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna hang out here, say, say hi to some of the riders, check out some of the bikes that they're gonna be riding. Here we go, baby. So are they heading out to actually race? Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna go line up. Yeah. Dude, this is insane. The access. 
All right, and now we're walking onto the track where they're lining up for the race of champions. No big deal. It's no big deal. We're just uh, <laughs> we're just walking onto the track, you know, with the riders and everything. Insane. This is literally insane. So dope. Ducati, I cannot thank you enough for sending us out here. This is amazing. All right, Heko's bike just pulled up. He's over there talking to, uh, who is that, Mooney? This is gonna be freaking epic, dude. You got, like, they're just sitting right here. This is so crazy, look at this. Absolute insanity, and this is just an exhibition race. Imagine that. So freaking cool, dude. All right, we're heading out of the mayhem that is the start of the race of champions. Yeah, what up, Ducati biker? How you doing? This guy right here. How crazy is that shit? It was awesome. Being on the grid, experiencing that, being a Ducati shit. My boy Jared here makes the coolest Ducatis. The best Ducatis I've ever seen. Follow this guy. And follow this guy. Yeah, and follow this guy too. All right, well, I missed the start of the race. I blame Christina. <laughs> no, it was totally my fault. So let's see who's in the lead here when they come by. Here we go. That's amazing. So if you guys listen, when the bikes come by, the V4s are nice and high pitched, and then the V2s have this low growl to them. Listen when they come by. Championships, race of champions is over. Uh, Peco Bagnale won. I have no idea who got second or third because we were outside and I don't speak uh, Italian. But uh, we're heading out for now. Uh, we're gonna go home, freshen up, and get ready for dinner, which is actually gonna be on the front straight of the racetrack. So doing like a VIP dinner for um, a select group of people, and we're lucky enough to be on that list. So uh, we're gonna come back and have dinner on the on the racetrack where they just finished racing, which is super freaking cool. So everyone's heading out now. So Crazy. Yeah, this is nuts. But dude, to be down there on the front, or to be down there when they were lining up on the race, that was absolutely incredible. I want to do that at a MotoGP event uh, in Austin. So I'm 100% going. You're coming with me to MotoGP okay. next year in Austin, all right? Okay. Okay, sweet. So get Maybe. your tickets now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> all right, so I think we're actually going to sign the video out here. Um, I. I think from being in the heat all day and, and not getting out a lot Slide of sleep. Heat stroke. Yeah, I think I'm having like a little bit of a heat stroke. I was getting really nauseous and everything. I had to take a really cold shower. So I don't think we're gonna go back to the um, dinner at the track. Um, <clears throat> so we're just gonna stay local Did and pizza? relax. Yeah, and I'm gonna put the camera down and kind of enjoy my last uh, full night here in Romanian Italy. And then we'll just do a whole nother video tomorrow of the events. We're gonna be riding in the Lamborghinis and um, checking out some other cool stuff there. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was 
absolutely incredible. Today was my Crazy. favorite day by Crazy far. Day. Even you enjoyed the racing yes. and seeing that. Yeah. A lot of people today. <sighs> yeah, a lot day, of people. Yeah. Non-stop people coming up and talking, which is awesome, but it's really draining, especially in the You're heat. You're losing and your stuff. voice. Yeah, I'm losing my, <laughs> my voice. But anyway, so that's gonna do it. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Again, massive thank you to Ducati for sending us out here. We're having an absolute blast. And thank you to everybody who said hi and came up to us. It really means a lot to us. So that's it. See you guys in the next one. Hit the hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Peace. Bye.